You know, I'm a private eye. My name is Janet Christensen O'Brien, and I own Seattle Detective Bureau. And right today, I'm flagging. But uh, I want to talk about... Michael Longyear and Sally Lanham and even Judge Wiggins, Charles Wiggins at the Washington State Supreme Court because Judge Wiggins threw out that case and he wasn't even assigned to that case so he's aware of all this stuff too. And the thing is with Michael Longyear and Sally Lanham, why am I so upset? Why does it bother me? Why do I care? Why do I think that there's a horrible ethical issue here that should be brought to the public? And that is because on the Dorothy Grega case, I had an invoice overdue and I submitted it for payment. And I knew that uh, Richard Gregoric had set up an EIN number for a Grega Living Trust and he had had a BDO, which is a national accounting firm. Victoria Salas is a member of BDO, and she submitted to Dorothy Grega three different tax returns that she had prepared. And they had Richard Gregoric's EIN number that he had got from a living trust, not the charitable trust from 1996. And Victoria Salas of BDO gave Dorothy Grega fraudulent tax returns that had a fictitious EIN number and all of the documents of the financial gains from the Grega Charitable Trust from 1996 all of those things that were listed on the tax returns that BDO prepared were all fictitious. They said Oppenheimer. stock Oppenheimer this, Oppenheimer that, all of these stocks that Victoria Sellis had itemized on the tax returns that she gave for the Grega, Stephen and Dorothy Grega Charitable Trust and Dorothy Grega, all of those items that were the financial records
were all fictitious on the tax return and the EIN number listed on the tax return was also fictitious. Now, Dorothy Greger reported this to the IRS, to Dorothy in Alaska. And Dorothy in Alaska had contacted Dorothy Greger when Dorothy Greger was alive and asked her if she was trying to defeat the tax levy because the amount of money that was in the Washington Mutual account when the IRS levied on the account, that money was removed. By Partners in Care. And when Partners in Care removed that money, there was a tax levy in effect. And so Dorothy from the IRS in Alaska called Dorothy Grega, Pam was the name of the woman in Alaska, who was the IRS woman. Her name was Pat. And she called Dorothy Grega and asked her, are you trying to defeat the levy? because the money to pay the taxes had been removed. And Dorothy Greg said, no, I was not trying to defeat the levy. Uh, they had no authority to remove that money. And to this day, they've never given back Dorothy Greg or the estate or Donna Mae Curley or any of the heirs of Dorothy Greg the money they removed from Washington Mutual. And all of the property that was liquidated in the Greg Charitable Trust the medical office in Kirkland, which was a log. Cabin, the parking lots, the homes, all of that property has never been accounted for either in a probate or to the IRS. And it was all hidden away in the Grega Charitable Trust from 1996. But I'll tell you folks, that Grega Charitable Trust never existed. I'm changing hands because I'm tired. Better change it back. Anyway, that's the reason why it's so significant. And what happened with uh, Sally Lanham and Michael Longyear, they knew that those tax returns were fraud. They knew that uh, Richard Gregoric had set up an EIN number that was fraud. And at the time, the Grega children, Stephen Grega's children were suing in Tacoma for the charitable trust and they didn't realize there was no charitable trust but what happened to me as a private detective Sally Ladham and Michael Longyear accessed my bank of a U.S. bank bank account which is a business account and they got copies of my bank records my cash out tickets and everything and then they went after my Seattle Detective Bureau business license. And two, two representatives, two of them, from Department of License, a man and a woman, were sitting right outside my office for two days to threaten and intimidate me. And I had to fight to get my business license when the Stephen and Dorothy Grega were defrauded by all of these various attorneys. 
and Dorothy Gray got contacted me because her attorneys were stealing money. And as of this day, the attorneys have never returned any of her money. The medical office in Kirkland was sold. The properties were sold. And even Dorothy Gregg's house on West Mercer Way was sold for a million three in 2008. And it was never put in the probate and it was never put in the guardianship. So that was kind of stolen too. And so the thing is, is that I want somebody to investigate Sally Lamham, Michael Longyear, and uh, Wiggins, Wiggins for his participation in that case. Because I think it's fraudulent and criminal to set up EIN numbers with fictitious numbers and put them on tax returns. And Sally uh, and uh, Victoria Salas, BDO, even went over to the Bank of America in Kirkland and set up a bank account at Bank of America with a fictitious EIN number. That should be fraud and somebody should investigate it. Stay tuned for my next story. This is Janet Christensen O'Brien live on the freeway when I'm flagging. Thank you. This is me. We're open. Yes, we're open. Call me. Give me a call. Hey, during COVID-19, it's a hard time, but we're open. Yep, that's me. Seattle Detective Bureau at your service. We're open. Yeah, we're open. Thank you. We're open. During COVID-19, we're open. Private detective services specialize to meet your needs. We're cold out here doing flagging, but we're open. Yep, we're open. That's me. Thank you.